So that's why we have 13 instead of 14.
Fox, help them first up and then go wander. And good afternoon, live from Kaiser Permanente Arena in Santa Cruz, the home of the Santa Cruz Warriors. Division Three women's basketball is on the air. And Billy Whippy here for this Central Coast matchup between the number 19 UC Santa Cruz Banana Slugs and the Cal Lutheran Regals. And the tip won by Demiro of Cal Lutheran. The Regals have the first possession, Mills hands it off to Jenna Hawley. Back to Mills and the handoff to Grace Godinez. She'll put it up. No good. Rebound comes in the hands of Aliyah DeMuro and she spins and layup. And first basket goes to Cal Lutheran, who yesterday here won 59 to 50 on the strength of their defense over at Linfield. Three pointer from the corner, Ashley Kowak gets the banana, slugs the lead. Mills looking to answer. No good. Rebound chased down off the leg. After further review, it goes the banana slug's way. Tess Oakley Stilson inbounds it. Oakley Stilson, number 14, led the banana slugs two days ago with 20 points in a wire to wire win over Linfield. Kaylee Murphy, the All American, hands it off to Kowak. Three pointer off the front iron, chased down. Knocked out of bounds, ball to Cal Lutheran. So two possessions, two shots by Ashley Kowak, the leading scorer of the Banana Slugs, who comes into the ball game averaging 13.5 points per game. Jana Holly, the first year from Winnetka, California, down in the San Fernando Valley. She hands it off to Grace Godinez. Holly gets it back. She'll drive against Insera. Off the glass, no good. Rebound, Murphy. Rebound 912 in the career of Kaylee Murphy. Wagner, ball pops free. And the jump ball possession. It'll stay with UC Santa Cruz, who have 23 on the shot clock. 
in Sarah. Swings it to Kowak. Can she go two for three? Yes, she can. A pair of three-point baskets to open scoring. Banana slugs. A correction, they call it a long two. Banana slugs lead five to two. All the points from Ashley Kowak. Stop and pop by Holly. She rattles it in. And that's another long two. B both teams are already familiar with the floor, so the NBA versus college line shouldn't be too much of a distraction. And Amanda and Sarah has no distraction whatsoever as she buries the corner three. It's eight to four. All the banana slugs shots coming from outside. There are three or four shooting so far today. Inside to Gibson. She'll turn around. Over in Sarah. Off the iron. Rebound by Tess. Oakley. Stilson. Banana slugs looking to run. Kowak, cross-court pass to Wagner. Wagner will try an NBA three off the front iron, but Kowak gets the rebound. Up, blocked by Aliyah Demiro, and rebound by Demiro. Holly will drive, gets the contact, banks it in, and one. And Holly will go to the line. First foul of the game called against the Banana Slugs, Tess Oakley-Stilson. Holly having 14 points yesterday, and she completes the three-point play. 14 points plus a team-high six assists. Oakley-Stilson to Kowak to Murphy. Some triangle offense between the three top scorers for UC Santa Cruz. To Wagner, she'll drive, split the forwards, off the back iron, rebound, bounced around, falls in the hands of Naomi Gibson of the Regals. Four on five fast break. Mills backs it back up, and Holly will call the play. Cal Lutheran looking to regain the lead. Man-to-man -man defense by the Banana Slugs. There's a switch. Holly gets free off the screen, misses everything, saved but off the leg of Kowak, and it'll stay with the Regals with five seconds on the shot clock. Godinez inbounds it, almost stolen. No time goes off, and the Regals will try that again. Murphy guarding Aliyah Demiro, the junior from Simi Valley. Gets it in the Holly. She'll try the NBA three. Short. Rebound in Sarah. Hands off to Wagner. Banaslug's looking to run. In Sarah. From deep. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Timeout taken by Coach DeMiro as the Banana Slugs start shooting. Often and shooting well from outside. They have an 11 7 lead. Back after this from Kaiser Permanente Arena. Seven here, the score at Kaiser Permanente Arena. The banana slugs with a bevy of outside shooting to get the lead. Inside to Gibson, double teams. 
Knocked free. Scramble. Murphy ends up with it. Vanaslug's looking to run. Wagner sees in Sarah. Swings it out to Koak from the corner. Bounces out, but Murphy's there for the rebound. But before she can go up, she's called for the travel. Rebound 914 for Kaylee Murphy, if my math is somewhat correct. All-time leading rebounder here at UC Santa Cruz. And an honorable mention All-American last year. Holly will drive baseline. She'll go up and rattle it in. Lead down to two. When the are going outside, Kalu trying to find a way inside. A little bit of a press. Oakley Stilson gets it to Wagner. Bounce pass to Murphy. Kick out to Kowak. Long two-pointer, no good. Rebound falls to Demuro. But now with no shots in the paint yet. Mills dribbles around. 11 v 11, she gets it over in Sarah and rolls it in. We have a tie ball game. And that full court press again from Cal Lutheran. Cal Lutheran first 30 turnovers yesterday, including 17 steals. Correction, 23 steals in the nine-point win. No, second unforced turnover, though, by the Mad Slugs. And Cal Lutheran will bring it up to try to take the lead in this possession. Sarah Mills brings it up. Had seven steals yesterday against Linfield. Hands it off to Holly. She gets a screen from Demiro. Demiro gets it inside pass. She goes up over Murphy. Off the back iron. No good. Gets her own rebound. And the putback by Aliyah Demiro gives the Regals the lead. 6 nothing run for the Regals. And Amanda and Sarah puts a stop to that with her second three from the same spot. Banana Slugs with a 14-13 lead. Switch called. Godinez will drive. Picks up her dribble. Inside. Stolen by Ansara. Banana Slugs looking to run. Stolen back by Mills. Eight steals this weekend so far for the sophomore from Joshua Tree. She'll put up a three-pointer. Murphy comes down with it. Banana Slugs with a three-on-five fast break. They'll slow it down. Murphy's open. Swings around from the top of the key. Swings it to Kowak. Three from the right. Nothing but net. Eight points for Ashley Kowak. Banana Slugs with back-to-back -back threes to take the lead back to four. Holly pulls up her dribble. Bounce pass. Someone zags when they should have zigged. And it goes out of bounds. Reinforcements coming in for Cal Lutheran into the ballgame for the first time. Number 32, McKenna Thomason. Number 10, Alexa Greenwood. And number 5, Karina McMillan. Banana Slugs break the press. Matchup zone by Cal Lutheran. Tess Oakley Stilson will drive. Pass intercepted. Second steal by Mills today. Looks for help. She'll go in herself. Has her pocket picked cleanly by Wagner. Now Banaslag's going the other way. Crossover by Kowak to the hoop. She'll draw the foul. And the leading score of the Banana Slugs going to the line for the first time. Lindsay Zintek, junior from Carlsbad, checks in. First free throw good. The net doesn't even move it. Kowak hitting 83% from the line this year. 15 of 18. Make that 17 of 20 for the season. Even my non-UC education knows that's 85%. But Nassau likes to push the lead to six. Backdoor cut. Holly finds an open... Nick Thomason, rather. No good. Rebound falls to the Banana Slugs. 
Amanda and Sarah lets it loose, and it is good. Three threes for Amanda and Sarah. Banana slugs on a 10-0 run as they found their offensive groove in this first quarter. Wide open, McMillan will drive in the lane, over, no good, rebound Murphy. She has her pocket picked by McMillan and it will be Regal's ball. Mills look, will inbound it. Swung around, McMillan gets it back. 24 on the shot clock, fresh possession. McMillan will stop, try to do the handoff, but her receiver wasn't there. Murphy ends up with it. Wagner, outlet passes Zintek, no good. Rebound to McMillan. Now Regals are trying to run a little dangerous pass, but it finds Sarah Mills. She'll call the play, goes to the top. She'll drive, stopped by Wagner. She'll turn around, Wagner picks her pocket again. And on the alternating possession, it'll stay with the Regals with 12 on the shot clock. 25, Jenna Gorton, the first year from San Diego, checks in. Three San Diego County ballers now on the floor for UC Santa Cruz in Gorton, Kowak, and Zintek. Inbound into Holly. She's guarded by Zintek. Six on the shot clock. She's far from the hole. She'll hand it to Mills. Mills will let go in NBA three and misses it. And Sarah catches it. We'll play on Amanda and Sarah. Catch and release off the front iron. That was a heat check. Mills comes down with the rebound. She doesn't have numbers. She'll slow for the rest of her offense to get set. She'll try to go around Wagner. She will gets a screen and hands it off to McMillan. Last minute of the first quarter, knocked free but called a foul. Just the second team foul against UC Santa Cruz. And checking in for the Banana Slugs, Tess Oakley Stilson returns, as coming in for the first time will be number 14, Talisha Wilkerson, the first year from Chico. Two first years, two seniors, and one junior on the floor for UC Santa Cruz for the last minute of the first. Banana Slugs trying to shut out the Regals. Mills lets it go, no good. Rebound comes down. Fresh 24, Cal Lutheran. McMillan lets out a three, and that breaks the, the cold streak. It's 22-16. Banana Slugs break the press. Tess Oakley Stilson has her pocket pick from behind by Holly. Third steal of the quarter for the Regals. Last 20 seconds, they'll call the play. Mills kicks it to Holly. Lane's open if someone wants to drive but they kick it out to McMillan. Inside, and a foul away from the ball before he arrives there, called against the Banana Slugs. He'll be on number 25, Jenna Gorton, her first personal, third team foul, which gives Cal Lutheran 9.7 seconds to set up their last play. Mills sets it into Greenwood, swung around to Holly. Back to Mills, catch and release for three, drains it, so back-to-back -back threes by Cal Lutheran to end the quarter, and Wilkerson won't get a shutoff. So Banana Slugs push the lead up to nine before back-to-back -back threes by Cal Lutheran brings it back down to a three-point lead. After 10 minutes, Banana Slugs with a 22-19 lead back in 90 from Kaiser Permanente Arena.
Back here at Kaiser Permanente Arena. Same starting five for UC Santa Cruz on the floor. One fresh Regal on the floor, and that's number 24, Izzy Flores, junior from San Marcos. I don't know if that's San Marcos in San Diego or San Marcos in Santa Barbara. But I'm sure it's a lovely town, whichever one she's from. Amanda and Sarah gets it to Kaylee Murphy. Banana slugs moving, and Koak lifts her foot. Unforced turnover and a travel ends the first possession for UC Santa Cruz. Amanda and Sarah already the leading sc scorer for Banana Slugs. Already right had her season average of 12 points a game. She has 12 in the first quarter, all from three-point shooting. Matchup zone by UC Santa Cruz. Mills gets an inside to DeMuro. She bodies Murphy and gets the layup. Eight nothing run by Cal Lutheran. It's a one point lead in this California coastal matchup. Koak waits for a screen. She'll drive down the key. Gets it to Murphy, gets it back. And a blocking foul called, I believe, against Holly before Koak could attempt the shot. And that's the first team foul of the quarter. Wagner in Sarah, Murphy. All 22 points by the Banana Slugs have come from either Koak, who has 10, or in Sarah, who has 12. Wagner, she'll drive, and she's fouled. Banana Slugs get a new set of 20 seconds as a personal foul is called against Flores. So Wagner will inbound it and will start anew. As some discussion by the referee and crew. As we see coach Kelly DeMuro call out the defense. Wagner gets a handoff. She'll drive in a triple team. She'll go up off the glass, no good. Mills comes down with it. Unencumbered path to McMillan. She'll get the running layup. And on a 10 nothing run, the Regals take the lead, just like yesterday, on the strength of their defense. Wagner and Sarah, corner three from Kowak. Off the back iron, rebound by Holly. Another run by the Regals. Holly has two runners on her left. Blocked by Murphy as she tries to take it in herself. It'll stay Cal Lutheran ball. Shades of the C2C final when a Christopher Newport captain tried to run against Murphy and got similar results. Steal by Wagner. She has an unencumbered path. She'll lay it in for her first point. So Banana Slugs take the lead. Banana Slugs also know a thing about turning defense into offense. Holly will drive, finds DeMuro. Lucetti push shot, no good. DeMuro gets it off the back iron. Third time the charm. Nope, there's a tie up. And after further review, it will stay. DeMuro will get credit for the rebound. As number one, Alyssa Maxey comes in. Junior from Torrance, California. And number 11, Sarah Mills, who played 39 minutes yesterday and has not come out today. And she throws it out of bounds. An unforced turnover by the Regals gives the Banana Slugs the ball. Wagner brings it up. Guarded by Maxi. Murphy draws a double team. Banana Slugs swing it around. Tess Oakley Stilson will drive. Reverse layup. Good. Back to back layups by the Banana Slugs. 26 23 lead. First points of the day for Tess Oakley Stilson. Mills guarded by Wagner. Holds up her dribble, finds Holly. Quick release three off the front iron. Tess Oakley Stilson swings it to Kowak. She'll slow down for the rest of her offense and finds Kaylee Murphy for the layup. That's a usual reverse. Murphy gets her first basket off a of Kowak assist. So 
Six nothing run for UC Santa Cruz. All on fast break layups. Long three by Mills, no good. Rebound, Kowak. And the banana slugs trying to keep the momentum going. In, Sarah off the back iron. Rebound by McMillan. Back and forth, fast paced game. Running layup, no good. Rebound by In Sarah. And a trip in the backcourt negates the fast break. It was an accident. Nothing personal. Oh, only balling. Reinforcements come in for the Regals. Lindsay Zintek comes back in for UC Santa Cruz. As number 31, Amaya Charles, comes in for the first time for Cal Lutheran. Zintek, she'll drive. She looks in the lane. Kick out to the corner. 15 seconds. Murphy gets it. She's one on one versus Gibson. Reverse layup, good. Four points for the All American Murphy. Banana slugs on an eight nothing run. After starting the first quarter on the outside, they're showing the Regals their inside game as the long three by Mills bounces around. Zintek gets it. Flips it to Koak, who's one on three, so she'll wait for the rest of the slug to get there. Wagner, kick out. Released by Koak for three. Off the back iron. But Tess Oakley Stilson gets the rebound after being tapped by Amaya Charles. First personal for Charles. Fourth team foul this quarter. As Wilkerson comes in to give Koak a rest. Wagner, no look inbounds pass to Murphy. Even Murphy wasn't expecting it. Banana Slugs set their offense. Murphy will drive, and she draws the foul from McMillan. Sending an 80% eight, free throw shooter in Murphy to the line for the first time today. Five team fouls by Cal Lutheran in the first four minutes, 16 seconds. And the first free throw by Murphy is perfect. Nine and nothing run for UC Santa Cruz and five points for Miss Murphy. Off the back iron, but Zintek's there for the rebound. Kicks it out to Tess Oakley Stilson for three. Off the back iron again. Rebound fought for, ends up in the hands of McMillan. And a reach and foul call against the Banana Slugs. Will go against Wilkerson. And that's the first foul of the Banana Slugs in this quarter. And Sarah Mills gets a rare rest as number 22, Jana Hawley, comes back in for Cal Lutheran. She'll bring it up the floor. Guarded by Oakley Stilson. Swings it to Amaya Charles. She'll drive. The southpaw is intercepted by Tess Oakley Stilson. Unencumbered fast break layup. Good by Tess Oakley Stilson. Her fourth point of the game in the same fashion as her first two. But Naslux turning up the pressure. Back iron, good, and Gibson with the running hook stops a 12-0 UCSC run. Wagner, Zintek, catch and release off the back iron, off the top, off the, off the shot clock. That'll be out for Cal Lutheran ball, and the Cal Lutheran will have it when we return. 4.52 until halftime. Banana Slugs holding a 33-25 to 25 lead over Cal Lou. Back after this.
Back here at Kaiser Permanente Arena, Banana Slugs shooting just under 50% for the, the game. They're shooting 45.5 on 5 of 11 in the second quarter for an eight point lead. Long three pointer off the back iron, rebound by Kaylee Murphy, her sixth rebound of the day. Swung around, Murphy gets it from Zintek. Guarded by Gibson, waits for the Banaslug offense to turn just right. We'll hand off to Wagner, kick out. Three pointer for Zintek, off the back iron, and over the back called as Annie Winton in for the first time today for Cal Lutheran gets the rebound. But Tess Oakley Stilson puts a too, little too much pressure on it. And that's her second team foul. And the second foul this quarter against UC Santa Cruz. So far, Banana Slugs are six of 16 from three. Have only taken 10 shots that aren't threes, including one very long two. And it'll be a foul called against the banana slugs and a line change at the banana slugs. As Amanda and Sarah and Ashley Koak come in, and for the first time today, Lily Hammonds and Ariel Anderson come in. That's Hammonds guarding Gibson on the wing. And a three pointer off the back iron, chase down. Koak loses it in the corner, and Holly will reset the offense. Drive by Annie Winton, and the layup is good. It's 33-27. First basket of the day for Winton. Koak, long three, good. 17th three-point attempt for UC Santa Cruz, seventh three. Three of them by Miss Koak. Lead back to nine. Winton will drive, pulls up her dribble. Kicks it out to Godinez. Back to Gibson on the top. Almost knocked free, but Holly recovers it. 10 on the shot clock. Holly gets the screen. She'll drive. She'll hand it off. Long two-pointer. Off the back iron. Rebound by Koak. Hands it to Wagner. Koak gets it back. NBA three. Ashley Koak. By the way, is very, very good at three-point shooting. She takes it to a 12-point lead. Her fourth three of the day. And the Banana Slug's leading scorer has 16 in this first half. Holly will drive, guarded by Wagner, turn around, but to Gibson, swung around the wing. Winton will drive, stops, tries to pass. Pass is good, but not the layup attempt. And it falls in the hands of Banana Slugs. Regal's emptying the last two possessions. In Sarah, Ariel Anderson with her first touch of the ball. She gets it back to Wagner, who gets a screen. A pick and roll from Lily Hammonds. Wagner's shot no good. Gibson comes down with it. Winton looking to run. Goes in the corner, guarded by Anderson. She'll turn, she'll go baseline. Holds up her dribble, looking for a pass as the defense by Anderson forces her to give it up. Back to McMillan at the top of the key with 10 on the shot clock. As Kalu trying to stop this short UCSC run. Jumper no good, Lily Hammonds has her first rebound. And she'll bring it up as she's not being guarded. She finds Anderson. Banana Slugs getting their offense. Wagner looks at the shot clock, calls the play, gets a screen from Hammonds. Wagner has a lane, drive, that layup no good, but Aubrey Wagner will go to the line to shoot two free throws. The foul called against Jenna Hawley of Cal Lutheran. Second foul on Hawley. Aubrey Wagner hit double figures the last time out. She doesn't go to the line much. She's only been to the free throw line 11 times this year, and, and that's her 12th attempt. She's eight for 12 on the year, 67% if my math skills serve me right. And Wagner goes two for two, pushing the lead to 41-27. Another quick line change for UC Santa Cruz as Murphy 
Zintek. And Oakley Stilson come in. Five on the floor for UC Santa Cruz are double zero Zintek, 11 in Sarah, 14 Tess Oakley Stilson, 12 Wilkerson, and four Murphy. Aliyah Demiro back in for the Regals. And we have a foul away from the ball. Gives the ball back to UC Santa Cruz. Correction, a three second in the lane turnover. Unforced turnover. Gives the ball to UC Santa Cruz. Wilkerson, first year from Chico, brings it up. Under a minute left in the quarter. A fabulous offenses display by UC Santa Cruz. Zintek gets it, gets a screen. She'll drive, stop, pop. Tess Oakley Stilson will drive. Finds herself free. Layup, good. Six points for Tess Oakley Stilson. The layup machine as the rest of the banana slugs are going bombs away. Tess Oakley Stilson is finding the seam for the layups. Holly will drive. Swung around. Godinez gets in the hands of Mills. And a moving screen called on Godinez. Back to back turnovers by the Regals. And the Banana Slugs have the last opportunity of the first half. Fifteen seconds left. Tess Oakley Stilson gets it to Murphy. The handoff gets it back. Oakley Stilson running the point. Waiting for the high screen. She'll drive again. She'll go off blast again. She'll get a layup again. Eight points for Tess Oakley Stilson. And that closes the quarter. Banana Slugs close on a great run. And they lead 45-27 here at Kaiser Permanente against Cal Lutheran. Balance scoring all around. And we go into halftime with the Banana Slugs leading by 18 points. Back after this from KP Arena, you're watching Banana Slugs Basketball. I think there's been this sort of resistance like oh you know that person with a disability you know the, the outdoors is too rugged it's too dangerous too risky you know but I, I I just find that total BS because as the world progresses you know if you can build the right technologies for people to get into the outdoors and then hey where technology fails that's where you have your great team so there's no reason why somebody with any kind of challenge can't push themselves in the outdoors Ooh, it's a brisk wind. We, 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 we are where real change starts. Where Global Research University takes root. At the edge of the Pacific Ocean, amid the cliffs and the forests of the California Central Coast. Where new voices push societal, intellectual, and research boundaries. And seek to reimagine and rebuild society structures. Where the promise of tomorrow drives our best work today. Where social and environmental justice are taught and lived. Where academic rigor and experimentation offer the adventure of a lifetime. And a lifetime of opportunity. Where listening leads to empathy and a deeper understanding. Where strength and confidence are found. In the daily effort to build on what's been learned. And we, the researchers and the justice seekers. The artists and creators. The problem solvers and the makers. Our voices will define the century. And we will change ideas into action. In action into transformative change. You see Santa Cruz. The real change is us. Where does 
Division III student athletes. We are soccer players. We're tennis players. Get those kicks up. We're kickboxers. Keep it going, oh man. We are mountain bikers. Oh, yeah, yeah. We are ultimate players. We are surfers. We are intramural sports champions. We are sailors. We're adventure rec leaders. And we're the friendly face that greets you. Just make sure you turn it in when you're done. Mark! Up! We're coach. We are athletic trainers. We are banana slugs. Being on the women's soccer team has honestly been like the epitome of my college experience. It's been the place where I've met like all of my friends. The reason why I like soccer so much is it's a sport that's not only allowed some of my best memories and best friends to come into my life, but I've also been able to grow um, as an individual and confident in myself as a player and also as a person. It's a lot of fun um, and you get a lot of support from 28 other girls, which is pretty cool. My name is Angela Bradbury, I'm a second year and I play center back. My name is Rainy Dabbs. My position was number 11, and I'm a first year. I like that it involves so many people, that it's not just a solo sport. Like, when you really understand soccer, you get to see the beauty of it and like how you're able to build the game and also like go with the flow of it. And then like you all want the end result to be a win or a goal. And when that does happen, and that happens from your hard work and like all your effort, that's just a great feeling. To be able to play soccer has been really nice because I grew up playing soccer my whole life. So coming to Santa Cruz, being able to be on the field, keeping up the soccer experience and being able to keep playing has been honestly the best part of my college experience. Uh, my name is Celine Erzikin, I'm number 20 and I'm a forward. The type of team camaraderie that I've been to experience is something that I'll never forget. Every girl is different in their own way and expresses themselves, but we all share a common goal, and that is to do well and play well on the soccer field. Honestly, I think traveling with the team, one of, the, one of my favorite parts is we get assigned rooms with people that our coaches don't really know if we're super close with, which has been really nice. Like usually like upperclassmen are with like freshmen. It's been really nice to kind of get to be with that one person and kind of just learn more about them and chat with them and that that's honestly probably one of my favorite parts. Yeah, I mean, you get to travel across the country with your friends, so that's pretty fun.
My teammates and my coaches really helped with my growth because they weren't only helping me with performing well on the field, but they were also helping me outside of soccer. Transitioning from living at home to moving off is really difficult and having a support system and a community has helped me in more than one way. I would say I'm really thankful for just all the support we have from the coaching staff. Like they all want what's best for us for soccer and for like our education. So you definitely like know that they're there for you to succeed in soccer and off the field and in class. I think that gives me like the extra push to want to really do well in everything I do. Like in soccer, like I want to play the best I can in every practice and every game. And I want to learn something new in every practice and every game and use up for the next games and next practices. So I think with that support and help, like that's how it's possible. We got a lot, we have a lot of support in athletics, especially living with my teammates who have similar classes, similar teachers, or in similar boats. And there's all the other athletes also, who are not just on the soccer team, um, that have the similar situations, having to have these discussions with professors saying, like, oh, I have a game during this test. And I've never met a teacher who hasn't been accommodating for any of that, which has been really nice. Um, I just want to say that I'm super thankful for not only my family for allowing me to have this experience, but also my friends who I've made here and how encouraging and welcoming they've been. Um, it's really helped me grow as a person and I am so thankful for all of the sports department and how welcoming they are to all incoming freshmen.
Back here at Kaiser Permanente Arena, second half between the Banana Slugs and the Regals. UC Santa Cruz with a 12-0 run to end the second quarter. Stame starting five on the floor. Wagner, and Sarah, Murphy, Oakley, Stilson, and Koak. Wagner has the ball. She'll drive against Mills. Holds up her dribble. In on the shot clock. Finds a cutting test. Oakley, Stilson, who finds Murphy for the layup. 14-0 run. UC Santa Cruz. Their biggest lead of the day, they're up by 20. Sarah Mills brings it up for the Regals. Mills with five points in the first half. She'll drive against Wagner, gets a screen. Jumper from the free throw line, no good. Wagner gets a rebound, gets her pocket picked. Layup by Mills is good. She has seven off the steal and dish by Jana Hawley. Tess Oakley Stilson finds Kowak. Nothing but net. Lead back up to 20. Assist for Tess Oakley Stilson. Basket by Kowak. Banana Slugs running. Oakley Stilson finds Wagner, who can't complete the play. Mills with the rebound. She'll drive. Two on four. Not so fast break. She'll slow it down. Wide open Godinez. And shooting is in session. As both teams coming out hot. Full court pressure shown by Cal Lutheran. Banana Slugs get over the timeline easy. Kowak waits for some movement. Finds Murphy. She finds Kowak. Three-pointer no good. Demura with the rebound. Mills, outlet pass to Holly. Now the Regals have numbers. And the pass underneath the basket of Godinez is knocked away by Kowak. One pass too much for the Regals. Banana Slugs with the stops. Wagner holds it up. Finds Oakley Stilson. Gives it back and the Banana Slugs call the play. Back and forth action the first two minutes and change of this quarter. Murphy guarded by Demuro. Finds Amanda in Sarah for three. Off the iron rebound Demuro. Eighth rebound by Demuro so far in this ball game to lead the Regals. Regals only allowed 50 points yesterday, the full game. They've allowed 49 now. Steal by Insera. Back to back steals by the Banana Slugs. They break the pressure. Insera from the corner. Nothing but net. Five for seven, three shooting for Amanda Insera. She has 15 points. Lead is 21, the largest for UC Santa Cruz today. Godinez gets the screen, holds up her dribble, gets it into Demuro. 13 on the shot clock. Gibson gets it, finds Holly. Matchup zone by UC Santa Cruz. Holly will stop and pop off the iron, rebound, chase down. Gibson comes up with the Cal Lutheran. She finds Mills. Thought about the three, waited for the offense to get set. Now Cal Lutheran being careful with their shots. High percentage shot by Mills off the back iron. Once, twice, rebound. Kaylee Murphy. She finds Tess 
Oakley Stilson. Banana Slugs running. Oakley Stilson draws a double team, kicks it back to the top of the key. Wagner, she'll drive, she'll stop, she'll turn. Finds Amanda and Sarah. NBA three, no good. Rebound, Tess Oakley Stilson. Draws a double team, goes up over anyway, no good. Murphy, second time's a charm. Put back basket, lead is 23. And Kelly DeMuro of Cal Lutheran will take a timeout to talk about it. Game going a little faster than she would have hoped coming out of the halftime break. 9-4 run this half by UC Santa Cruz. They're up by 23. Back after this. Five forty-four left in the quarter. UC Santa Cruz, the twenty-three point lead. Three pointer by Mills, no good. Clear out. Everyone falls down, and it'll be a banana slug ball on the foul. Foul called on number ten, Alexa Greenwood, who just checked in for the Regals. Talisha Wilkerson in for UC Santa Cruz. She'll run the point. Also on the floor. Double zero Zintek for Murphy, 22 Koak with the ball. And Amanda in Sarah. Murphy, guarded by Tomlinson. She'll wait for a cutter, 10 on the shot clock. She'll drive herself. And before any shot, there's a foul away from the ball, I believe. I don't think it was Tomlinson. It is Tomlinson who got her a little bit of the body. Drawn by, foul drawn by Murphy and a fresh 20 for UC Santa Cruz. Great crowd here for this D3 battle. Several women basketball alumni catching their former teammates and friends. As Mills picks the pocket of Murphy, she'll race in on the cupboard and off the glass and in. Lead down to 21. Mills the leading scorer for the Regals. Banana Slug running a weave type offense and a foul before the next pass. An offensive foul called against Zintek on the clear out, and it's Regal's ball. And we hit the media timeout with the Regals inbounding it in their own half. We'll take it with them. 4.46 remaining in the third quarter. Banana Slugs with a 21 point lead over Cal Lutheran.
UC Santa Cruz with a 21-point lead over Cal Lutheran. Sarah Mills running the point for the Regal. She gets a screen from Tomlinson. She'll throw it up. No good. Rebound chased down by Holly. Fresh 20 for the Regals, who are trying to chip into this 21-point lead. Banana Slugs closed the first half on a 12-0 run. And added two more at the beginning. And we have a clear-out foul away from the ball called. And it's against Tomlinson, her second clear-out foul in the past minute. And that's a turnover. Ball back to the hands of the Banana Slugs. Wilkerson will get the inbound. Gets a screen from Insera. She'll dribble to the left and swing it around. Banana Slugs moving. Murphy looking for the cutter. Finds Wilkerson. But before she releases a shot, she travels. Ball turned over back to the Regals. As fast as the first quarter was played and a little bit of the second quarter, the third kind of has settled down into a little more classic basketball pace. There's a drive, kick out. Long jumper is good by number 10, Alexa Greenwood. The sophomore Marin Catholic grad. Lead is now 19 for the Naslugs as a fresh set of legs gets it ready to check in. Intercepted. Uh, Greenwood gets in front of the pass. And now the Regals trying to chip down the lead even more. Mills gets a screen. She'll drive, step back. Thought about the three. And now she'll go underneath. Gets to the open woman. And Holly will get the three-pointer. As the patient offense by the Regals pay off their first three of the second half. Cuts the lead down, 54-38. Wilkerson to Kowak. Waits for Murphy. Cutting layup, Kowak, good assist, Murphy. As the two senior leaders Get the banana slug offense going. Long three-pointer by Mills, no good. Rebound by Kowak. She saw the interceptor coming and decides to hold on to it herself. Two minutes and 33 seconds. Banana slugs run the same play again. Now Murphy will drive. Draws a double team and a reach-in foul against Tomlinson, and that's three quick fouls. Correction, they call it on number five, Karina McMillan. And Tomlinson breathes a sigh of relief as she gets to stay in a little longer. Line change for UC Santa Cruz. A pair of guards and Wagner and Oakley Stilson come back in. As does the 6'4 first year, Jenna Gorton. In Sarah. Gets it. Stop and pop. Basket. Good. The first two-pointer for Amanda in Sarah. She now has 20 points today to lead all scorers. Drive, double team, up, no good, rebound in Sarah. Probably the, one of the easier rebounds you could ask for. Pass not intercepted, in Sarah swings it to Tess Oakley Stilson. She'll drive, over the center, no good. Rebound comes down to Greenwood. And now the Regals looking to pick up the pace. Holly, inside to McMillan. She'll turn, she'll drive. And she draws the contact from Koak, and there'll be two free throws for McMillan. Be her first free throws attempted today. And only the second person from Cal Lutheran to go to the line. That's number 30, Aliyah DeMiro. The starting center checks back in. And off the back iron, as McMillan goes to two and six on free throws this weekend. Second one coming up for the sophomore from Bonnie Lake, Washington. And that one is good. Lead cut to 19. Wagner brings it up to Oakley Stilson, to Gorton, waiting for a cutter. She'll turn find Wagner, she'll drive, draw a triple team, finds the open Gorton for the layup. Banana Slugs lead 60 to 39, Jenna Gorton's first basket today. Ninth assist 
for Miss Aubrey Wagner as she closes in on her career high. Inside to DeMuro. Kick out to Greenwood. She's guarded by Ansara. 13 on the shot clock. Drive. Partially blocked, but more body than ball as Wagner called for the foul, and Holly will go to the line. Holly one of one from the line today on an and one. She has two shots now. And she drains the first, cuts the lead down to 20. And the second one from the first year for Winnetka is good. 19 point lead for UC Santa Cruz. Wagner brings it up. Still, both teams kind of playing man-to-man, -man, even though with the sh three-point shooting presence. Koak will drive. She'll draw the foul from Demuro. And Koak will go to the line. First free throw good, 21 points for the senior from San Diego. Not so slowly going up to the top of the UCSC career scoring list. And that's 22 points for number 22 to lead all scorers. Last minute of the third quarter, Sarah Mills brings it up the floor for the Regals, calls the play. Banana slugs man to man. There's a switch. There's a screen, step back three by Mills, no good. Chase down, but it'll go out of bounds. It'll be a team rebound. And the banana slugs inbound it without any pressure for the last 38 and change this quarter. A few good runs by Cal Lutheran. And another dish and layup by Gorton. And that's a Career high for Aubrey Wagner, the UC Santa Cruz point guard. The lead's back to 23, the biggest of the day. Deep three by McMillan, off the back iron, chase down. Reback for Co rebound for Koak, but she throws it away to the other 22, Holly. Mills, two seconds left, finds Holly for the corner three, misses everything. Out of bounds, team rebound, a little bit of a scare for the banana slugs but they still sort of finish the quarter on a high. They lead by 23 points. Last 10 minutes of regulation action here at Kaiser Permanente Arena coming up. Fourth quarter here at Kaiser Permanente Arena and a clear out. And just like the start of the last quarter, an uh, offensive foul by number 10, Alexa Greenwood gives the ball right back to UC Santa Cruz. Five on the floor are 12 Wilkerson, two Wagner, four Murphy who just gets the ball. 
14 Oakley Stilson and 11 in Sarah. Three pointer release and splash. Amanda in Sarah with 20 points. Lead up to 26. Inside, outside, defense. Banana Slug have played a perfect all around game. Regals Mills looking for someone not there. Easy steal by Murphy. Banana Slugs bring it up. Wagner in Sarah. And a slight travel by Tess Oakley Stilson, who was in a hurry to get to where she wanted to go. If this lead holds up, the Banana Slugs will go to 9 and 1 on the year. Ranked in both major Division Three polls, it will be the best start in program history. Heading into their December Classic when they face Minnesota Morris and nationally ranked UW Whitewater. A still a lot of game here. A long two-pointer by the Regals McMillan. Chased down. Wilkerson fights off everyone and gets the rebound. Murphy will bring it up to Oakley Stilson. She'll drive. Stop and pop. Bank no good. Chases her own rebound. Fresh 20 for UC Santa Cruz. Murphy gets the pass. Off the back, no good. Rebound by Demuro. Regals looking to push it. Sarah Mills guarded by Wagner. She'll wait for the rest of her offense. As the Regals, who played phenomenally defensively yesterday against Linfield, now trail by 26 here. McMillan finds Greenwood. She'll drive, draw the double team, and the ball knocked free a little too aggressively. And the foul be on Amanda and Sarah, her first personal today. Lily Hammonds will come in, the junior from Woodland, California, in, up in Yolo County. She replaces Murphy. Inbounded. Greenwood has it. Up top to number one, Maxie. Back to the hands of Sarah Mills. Holds up her dribble and kind of pair of point guard system. Now Maxi gets a screen, she'll drive, kick out. Holly will drive over Hammonds, off the back iron, but Demiro is there for the putback. And eight points for the Regal Center, making her parents proud playing Division Three basketball. Lead is back to 24. Oakley Stilson. Long jumper by Hammonds, not outside her comfort zone, but just barely misses. Demiro with the rebound. Outlet pass. Greenwood stop and pop. Fast break basket off the assist from Mills. And back-to-back -back baskets by Cal Lutheran. Cut the lead to 22. Wagner to Wilkerson. Vanessa looks on the offense. And Sarah, pass behind to the intended receiver. Picked up by Mills, who's having an excellent weekend on steals. She calls the play and goes back to the top of the key to Maxi. She'll drive, guarded by Oakley Stilson. Kick out back to Mills with 10 on the shot clock. Now she'll drive. She tries to get a lane, and she is fouled by Wagner on the reach in. And let's see if they call it a shooting foul. It is not. And I'll bring Ashley Kolak back in for. Number 11, Amanda Insera, who's hit the 20 point mark today with excellent three point shooting. Mills inbounds it to Holly. Kick ball off the bounce pass attempt. It will stay with Cal Lutheran. We'll start the whole thing again with a fresh set on the shot clock of 20 seconds. Inbound, Demiro goes up for it. She'll back down Hammonds and get the layup. 10 points for Demiro. The second Regal in double figures today. Lead down to 20. Wilkerson finds a wide open Koak underneath for the cutting layup. And Ashley Koak making her teammates assist totals look oh so good. 24 points for number 22. And the lead is 22. And reach and foul before the pass. Uh, correction will be a foul down low called against Lily Hammonds. 
And that will be fresh 20 for the Regals. Kick out to Greenwood. Mills gets it back as Wagner sticks to honor. Gets Wagner in the air. Bounce pass to DeMiro. And another foul down low called against Hammonds. Two fouls on Lily Hammonds in the last 15 seconds. Banaslug's one away from the penalty. And if it was a closer game, that would be worrisome to be sending the Regals to the line. As it is, the Regals still have a little bit of a lead to chip into. Cutting. Knocked away by Hammonds, but not before Hammonds is called for a foul again. Three fouls on Lily Hammonds in 20 seconds. Which is quite perturbing. Murphy comes back in, giving the Banana Slugs another rebounder. But that's the fifth team foul of the quarter, and they'll send Aliyah DeMuro to the line. And off the back iron, misses the first. DeMuro was one of two yesterday in the nine-point win. Second one off the back iron, rebound by Kaylee Murphy. Gets it out to Wagner. Wagner pushes it. Oakley Stilson back to Wagner. Matchup zone by the Regals. Murphy back out to Oakley Stilson. Kowak gets it back, 12 on the shot clock. Now the Banana Slag's moving. Wagner will drive, reverses field, finds an open Murphy for the long jumper, and it's good. Lead back to 71-47. 24-point margin for the Banana Slug. We'll effort to get a talk with one of our seniors after the game, either Kowak or Wagner. Demira with a turnaround, no good. Rebound, Banana Slugs. Lots of good looks, a lot of good offensive sets by the Regals. The Banana Slugs have just been more offensive, more offensive-minded, rather. Jimenez gets it back on the tie-up. Possession will stay with Santa Cruz as a pair of reinforcements come in for the Regals, but we'll get to that shortly. 4.45 left in the fourth. Banana Slugs lead 71 to 47. Ends the banana slug run. Lead back down to 23 with under four minutes left. 
as a line change comes in for UC Santa Cruz. As Wagner kicks it out, and Ariel Anderson recovers it. Swung around, Kowak to Wagner, and they foul away from the ball. And a push call to number one, Alyssa Maxi. And that'll bring in Gorton, Wilkerson, and Zintek. And the seniors, Murphy, Wagner, and Kowak come out. Double figures scoring for Murphy and Kowak. And double figures assist for Aubrey Wagner. Five on the floor for UC Santa Cruz. Oakley Stilson with the ball. Jenna Gorton, Ariel Anderson, Lindsay Zintek, and Wilkerson. Drive by Gorton, no good, but Wilkerson gets it. Wide open shot by Tess, Oakley Stilson, and splash. Oakley Stilson joins the double figure club with 10. Three minutes and change, and a scramble. Banaslugs come up with it. And on the tie-up of possession, it will stay with Cal Lutheran as number 10, Serena Beal, checks in for the first time. Replacing Tess Oakley-Stilson, and what a way to go out. Scramble for the ball, try to get up with it. And you, she can take a bow at the bench. Three first years and two juniors on the floor for UC Santa Cruz. The juniors are Beal and Zintek. First years are 25 Gorton, three Anderson, 12 Wilkerson, and a lot of pushing around. And it's called against Gorton, right even before the ball's inbounded. And that'll send Cal Lutheran to the line. Number 23, Deanna Broughton, in for the first time, the first year from Moreno Valley. As Cal Lutheran using their deep bench for the last three minutes and Gorton gets the rebound. Zintek brings it up, flips it to Wilkerson. So like we said, the Banana Slugs will get to nine and one on the year and they host the December Classic this week as they welcome Minnesota Morris and UW Whitewater, Wisconsin Whitewater to town. As a three pointer by Serena Beal off the front iron, chased down into the Banana Slug bench. Thankfully no one tries to die for it. As a team rebound for Kalu. So now Zuglu inbounds it. Maxi, the junior from Torrance, will be the point guard. Also on the floor for Cal Lutheran, number two, Mercy Turner, getting her first match of the ball game. Broughton, uh, and number is double zero, Aliene Godfrey in for it. And that time, the ball goes the Banana Slugs way. Two more Banana Slugs come in. Number one, Jazzy Forbes. Number 30, Anna Schultz, replacing Anderson and Gorton. Wilkerson brings it up as the Banana Slugs looking to manage the 25-point lead. Zintek gets a screen from Schultz, a moving screen, unfortunately. And that's how Anna Schultz's first action of the ball game goes. So now Zuglu inbounds it to Alyssa Maxi. And the other three on the floor for Kyle Lutheran are double zero Godfrey, number 23 Broughton, and number one Max Maxi. Turnover, Banana Slug ball. Wilkerson finds Forbes in the corner. Banana Slug swinging around. Serena Beal guarded. Finds Wilkerson in the corner, off the back iron. Good shot though, bounced around, out of bounds. It will stay, it'll go to Cal Lutheran as number 24, Izzy Flores, checks back in. We never determined what San Marcos she's from, but shout out to all in San Marcos. Both San Marcos is in California, if you're watching. So now Zuglu hands it off to number two, Mercy Turner. Up and in, no good. Rebound fought for, Turner comes down with it. And on the tie-up, Schultz ties it up with Godfrey, but it will stay with Cal Lutheran for 10 seconds. Izzy Forbes will inbound it. 
into the hands of Godfrey. She'll drive. She'll go over. Off glass, no good. Rebound founds to Broughton. And a foul by the banana slug will send Deanna Broughton to the line. And it's calling number one, Jazzy Forbes. And Broughton drains her first free throw. 51 points. As Ariel Anderson will check it back in for UC Santa Cruz. Second free throw is good. And Anderson will come in for number double zero, Lindsay Zentek, who gets a standing ovation from the bench for a job well done. Which means three first years and two sophomores on the floor for UC Santa Cruz. Forbes will run the point inside to Schultz. She waits for the handoff. Anderson gets it. Turn. Wilkerson swung in the round. Beal finds Anderson from the wing. Off the back iron three. Rebound. Everyone crashes for it. Last touch by the banana slugs. Team rebound for Cal Lutheran. And one more regal coming in. It'll be 31 Amaya Charles returning to the game. As we're in the last minute. And Wilkerson with a no-look steal. That's a new one. Inside to Wilkerson. No shot by Schultz, unfortunately. She waited a little too long for it. Last, last 37 seconds. Hand off to Godfrey. She gets a screen. She'll drive, guarded by Beal. Inside pass, and everybody goes for the ball. I don't know what kind of foul they'll call. And they call it on Jazzy Forbes with the banana slugs. And that'll send Cal Lutheran to the line. And Mercy Turner will go for her first points of the day. The junior from Staten Island, the transfer from Concordia and Irvine. And second free throw, good. How you doing? Last 25 seconds up, and the Banana Slugs, after a brilliant second quarter and a hard-fought third quarter, will go to 9-1 and one on the year and welcome two Midwest teams in the December Classic later this week. Last eight seconds, Banana Slugs moving it around. Wilkerson, guarded by Suzu Suna Zuglu, will just dribble it out, and that'll do it here at Kaiser Permanente Arena. 75 to 54, UC Santa Cruz with an all around team game. Great outside shooting, great inside shooting, and great assisting. We will talk with our point guard, Aubrey Wagner. Back in 30 seconds here, here from Santa Cruz, California. Back here at Kaiser Permanente Arena, UC Santa Cruz with a 75-54 lead, 75-54 win over Cal Lutheran, win the Central Coast battle. I'm here with the UC Santa Cruz point guard, Miss Aubrey Wagner, straight out of Oakland. Miss Wagner, great game today. Tell us about uh, the game plan to go long first and then knock them in from inside. Yeah, the game plan we had today was to beat the press which didn't last very long. Um, we really wanted to get a lot of corner threes, and Mandy and Ashley really pulled that out for us, and they ended up having to stop doing the press pretty early, so we felt good about that. 
Talk about having not one, like you said, not one, but two amazing outside shooters in Koak and in Sarah. What's, yeah. the, what's their dynamic on the team? Oh, it's so fun. I feel like as a point guard to have people you can pass to and get excited about them shooting the ball. Um, with Kaylee inside and Ashley and Mandy outside, as a distributor, it's like the perfect combination. Anywhere you pass the ball, you're going to have good looks. Even with Tess, yeah, like Tess has like that back cut. It's just, yeah, it's like I mean, they make my job easy, so it's fun. They make your job very easy. Uh, let me be the first to tell you, and congratulations, you just set the UC Santa Cruz single-game assist record with 11 thanks no to way. passing to everybody and finding everybody open. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Cool. I love that. Uh, I know how hard you've worked to – and coming back from last year, also the biggest, not the biggest, the best start in school history at 9-1. and one. Yeah. So how are you feeling, like, after finals week and you have these set of games and you have another hard set of games next week? Yeah, I think that I'm, I'm just having a lot of fun. Coming um, back from last year with the same team, we lost one person. Um, shout out Sav. But we lost one person and... We have the same team and we're just so close. It's unreal. It's a dynamic I've never been a part of. I've been some of the freshmen that I came in with, Mandy and Ashley and Kaylee. We've been together now for five years. So this being our last season together, it's definitely like a special feeling. Um, we're on winter break, so we're all kind of hanging out and we just can't get enough of each other. It's awesome. We go to practice, we hang out after. Tonight we have Secret Santa. Oh. So. Who it's could, a special dynamic for sure. Who did you get? Just you, me, and the hundreds of viewers watching. Oh, I want to tell you guys so badly, <laughs> but I'm scared because I've already told, I've already told enough people where I'm nervous they might know. Not so secret, Sam. Well, I'll, I'll find out and uh, tell me what you got. Yeah. Aubrey Wagner, point guard for UC Santa Cruz, second win of the weekend. Congratulations. Go have fun with your team. Thank you so much. And, See you later. And great game. Thanks. And Aubrey Wagner finishing with 11 assists as the Banana Slugs close out this holiday classic with two wins, one over Linfield and one over the other purple team, the Cal Lutheran Regals. We'll be back here, Kaiser Permanente, in 48 hours as UC Santa Cruz welcomes Minnesota Mortis and Wisconsin Whitewater for the December Classic. For more information on all the Banana Slugs schedules, please visit GoSlugs.com. We're going to leave you with a happy holidays and see you next time. We'd like to thank everyone here at Kaiser Permanente Arena for making us feel welcome. And Billy Whippy signing off. Go Slugs. I need one. Were the, were the, were the kids adorable or?